it is delicious. And I think that this is five stars and oh, a bonus. Oh, wow. Oh, kudos to the cook. Wow. It's really good. And now I will be making this here for our family. Wow. Yeah. Delicious. Wow. Delicious. All right. Here we go, everybody. Ivana is downstairs cooking beach. She's yelling at me. I'm not sure how the video will go because it seems to me like there's not much of a process to make meech. My assumption would be there's three or four ingredients and it's pretty straightforward, but we are making meech today. Is this the ingredients? Yeah. Holy job, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 ingredients, and obviously this is for me to drink. <laughs> we'll mix it into the mixture. Wow, beer in the recipe. Yeah. <laughs> no wonder it's my favorite Romanian food, there's beer in this stuff. <laughs> there you have it. Okay, so pork, beef, a whole bunch of spices, thyme, garlic, Nutmeg, cumin. Oh, not a nutmeg. Double nutmeg. <laughs> uh, pepper, salt. Pepper, there salt, baking soda. Mm -hmm. Boom. Okay, Ivana. Uh, let's start. Let's do it. Do you have a plan, or do you? Are you? Oh, uh oh, I never saw this before. Check it out. Ivana is actually following a recipe from Ramona's kitchen. <laughs> Shout out to Ramona's kitchen. <laughs> let's see if it's good. So I'm using ground beef and ground pork, but if you don't eat pork, you can also use lamb or more beef. Sure. Just not chicken. Just not chicken. Not chicken. Just not chicken. All right, let's do it. Cue okay. the cooking montage. Beef. And then we are going to mix all the spices and pepper. So we got beef stock and 50 ml of the beer there you go <laughs> and I think you can use soda if you don't drink beer it's important to use the authentic recipe <laughs> oh the pepper got into my nose I like <laughs> sneezing <laughs> excuse me <laughs> probably how spicy do you want it Steve uh, go for it don't be shy oh no it's good. Okay. Oh, that looks like a lot. And garlic. Also one teaspoon. Garlic powder. You can also use fresh garlic. And nutmeg. A quarter teaspoon. Ooh, that's a quarter. Is it? It's gonna be overpowering. My mitch. Thyme. One teaspoon. Coriander. Lastly, the baking soda. Now, this is the most important part, I think. I gotta put the right amount because one teaspoon. Okay. Oh my gosh. And that's one teaspoon, right? That's a little bit. It's gonna be extra chewy or what? Hold on. Is that a teaspoon or a tablespoon you got in your hand? Teaspoon. Is it? Yeah, a tablespoon is like this thick. Same, right? Yeah. Okay, capiche. I don't know anything. <laughs> okay, now you're supposed to mix it all. Oh, look at the color of the meat, the pink and the red. It's kind of nice, actually. Now pour the beef stock, a mixture of beef stock and beer and salt and pepper. Now you mix it. Look at this. Oh. Good job! Oh wow, Steve! <gasps> You're only waiting up. Uh, first things first, it's Squeezing cold. all the juice. It's really cold in there. Oof! <laughs> You're doing a great job! So all the ingredients were in the fridge, including the beer, and uh... My hands are freezing cold right now. <laughs> We're gonna shape them. So, a little bit of oil here. Put it. Now, do you know a good meat? How, how long is your meat? Do you want? Do you like? Do you like a meat this big or this big? A finger. One finger. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Looks pretty good, Ivana. Woo! Looks good, no? What do you think? This is my first meat ever. Looks good, Ivana. Looks like meat. Oh, 
Pumba. Look at this, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> 31 beautiful looking meat. They don't look too bad, right? They look really, really good. Now, Yvonne and I are a bit nervous that they're going to fall apart on the barbecue. So one way to make them stick together a little better is to put them in the fridge and let them sit. It's only 12.30 now, so we'll have them at dinner time. They should be in the fridge for a good five, six hours. Yeah. Now, the one problem is the fridge is almost full <laughs> because uh, yesterday was Easter dinner and we have lots of leftovers i will say shout out to my mother's easter dinner oh that's so good we had ham and we had um scalloped potatoes uh with some parsnip parsnip and parsnip. carrots asparagus <laughs> as well as one tradition that my family has it's not really traditional easter but we do curried pineapple which curried is really really fruits, nice yeah. so we had a really really nice uh easter dinner also interesting you guys might like in canada we have milk and bags yeah not many, not many people, uh, not many countries have this. So you buy it like this and then you put it in your little milk holder. So every family at home has their milk holder <laughs> and they just buy this. Most countries do the uh, cartons. But anyway, we will fire the meat in here somewhere. We'll rearrange and then maybe in a few hours we'll see you guys uh, on the barbecue. Good Wait. job, Ivana. Are your hands clean? Yeah. High five. Oh yeah. Good night, Meech. Five hours later. How do they look? How do they look? How do they look? They look the same. All right, let's fire up the barbecue. All right. Shout out to Canada. Barbecuing in seven degrees. <laughs> yes. First things first, get a beer. It's important. <laughs> All right, the girl should be ready because the grill takes about half a beer to get hot. <laughs> now, I've decided that uh, what we're going to do is do a test meat. Mm -hmm. Put one and see. I'm right. worried they're going to stick to the barbecue and fall apart. Then we're going to get the oil oh, going. Gosh. It's going to be a lot of work. So we will also figure out today, uh, should I use this sausage tool or the hamburger tool? Are meats <laughs> more like sausage or hamburgers? I think, I think it's more like both. a sausage. Both, both. Yeah, I got to do both. Uh, I'm going to try sausage first. This is going to be our test meat. I'm going to put it right in the middle. I'm going to close it. I think we'll do it like steak, like three minutes, three and a half minutes yeah, every side. Yeah, I think quick. so. Yeah, pretty and quick. There's a whole bunch of them on there. I'm going to have to turn them all. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'll leave the grill open then. What do you think? I have no idea. Test meat. <laughs> okay. Up close, up close, up Ooh. close. Ooh. There it is. Test meat number one. Okay, fire in the hole. Should Pretty be done, good. Probably be ready in about half a beer. All right. I'm just being honest. I like the sizzling sound. I think it'd be a lot when there's uh, 32 meat on there. <laughs> All right. I think it's ready. What do you think? Well, maybe no. Um, I rolled it no, once. No, not yet. Maybe I'll stand it up vertical. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> Put it like that. I think it should be more golden. golden. And the stripes should be black almost. Uh, Another half a beer. <laughs> okay. If you're not clicking the tongs, are you even barbecuing? <laughs> you gotta click the tongs. I think it's ready, babe. Well, I'll tell you one thing, it's not gonna stick to the grill. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Honestly, babe, I think it's got too much. It's so bouncy. I know. I think it's too much uh, baking powder. Baking soda, sorry. Look at this. It's so bouncy. Oh my gosh. Boing, Should boing. Should I holes in it? Take the grease out? No. Oh, no, the, oh, you do that with sausages because of the casing. This is no casing. Yeah. This is already grease free. Or else it's going to be super dry. Okay. It, it, it feels very fun. It feels bouncy as heck. <laughs> it's like a kid's toy. Boing, like a boing. Ball. Like a chew toy for a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, now. let's cut it in half. Okay, and okay. See. You want to think just raw inside? I think it's overdone. Really? I think so. Chipmunk, you missed it. <laughs> Oh gosh. How is it? Oh, a little bit pink in there. Yeah, not yet, babe. Not yet. I'm telling you. You know what it is? My parents got a new barbecue, so <laughs> this must be a three quarter beer barbecue. Now I know. <laughs> How is it? So it's cut oh. in half, which makes it look a bit non meat like. 
Well, it looks pretty good, no? Yeah, is it cooked inside? I think so. Try it. And I got three different types of mustard. <laughs> Very nice. Three mustard. I like that. Let's give it a sec to cool try down. Try it. Try it. Try it. It's super bouncy. <laughs> okay, what mushroom would you go for? The yellow? The yellow, yellow is the... Traditional. Traditional, yes. Is it too hot? Mm, it's very good, Ivana. Really? Oh, it's really good. <gasps> really? Yeah. Oh my goodness, I want to try. Mm. This is servable to your parents? 100%. It really oh, has that yeah. meat bounce. Just the right amount of meat bounce, Ivana. Mmm, it's actually so good. It really, is, it really is an improvement on the sausage because the sausage has that. The thing about the sausage is it, it snaps when you bite it because of the casing. This doesn't snap, it's much more bouncy. Mm hmm. It's really good, Ivana. I think you nailed it. It's pretty good. Mmm, with the mustard in All there. Right, it's so good. Let's put everything All in. All right, let's, let's cook. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm, hold on. Wrong tool. Mmm, <laughs> hmm. This bro. Okay, I'm gonna put them all on there. Mm -hmm. They roll around really easy. So I'm gonna keep rolling them. Every okay. minute and a half, roll them a bit. All right, ready. First time, Meech Grill. <laughs> no. I should just put the whole paper on the grill and let the paper burn away. <laughs> That'll probably work. I don't think paper burn away. No, no, you gotta get that stripe, the barbecue stripe, Steve. You want the black lines? Yeah, black Problem lines. With the, if, you need, well, if you want black lines, you need super hot bars. <laughs> They're not that hot. Okay, fire in the hole. All right, just gotta be patient, man. We lost 200 degrees because the grill was open for so long. <laughs> one by one. Made it happen. All right. Cannot wait. It's actually so good. I want more right it's now. It's actually good, right? Yeah. Because mustard and meat is really nice. Mm -hmm. And we got pickles inside. Mm -hmm. Best. Oh, yeah, pickles. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're right, you're right, you're right. Must. You know why I was nervous to make it? Because people say it's hard to make. <laughs> why it didn't turn out that bad? You can make anything, You can make anything. This should be our relationship. You make it and I'll cook it on the barbecue. Oh. Best. That's good. That's Best. good. Oh, yeah, Steve. Best. <laughs> Brings. Brings back me memory of our time in Romania. <laughs> it does too. Yeah. I yeah. wish it was like a castle over here. Then it would really bring back memories, oh, you know? But yeah. we had some nice times in, in Romania. Mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. drone was on point in Romania. Yeah. This has got to be one of the most iconic images in terms of traveling Romania. It's absolutely spectacular. It might even be the homepage image for like Lonely Planet or something. Right? Top reasons you must travel to Romania. Picture of Corvin's castle. <laughs> it's absolutely spectacular. Doesn't even look real to me. Is there a tourist on earth who would see this and then say, eh, maybe skip it? I don't think so. This is a must visit. Wow. I'm about to be a king for a day. Yes. In the countryside, milking cows. We really had nice time. Oh. We will be back in so three fun. months. Yeah. Malaysia for 90 days and then Romania. Yeah, Romania. Be prepared. Mm -hmm. You know what else? I miss Shorba. You love the Shorba. I love it. Especially especially the one with the tripe. Tripe, tripe soup. Yeah. Shorba the Burta. That's what it's called. Shorba the Burta. But then Shorba the Burta. maybe I was going to cook it. Cook that one too. But I'm nervous of cooking tripe because I never cooked tripe before. <laughs> You never cooked meat before? You nailed it. Yeah, you're right. Oh. You can do anything you want to. Yeah. Alright. See you guys when they're ready. Two right. minutes. What's up? Cooking meat is quite fun. <laughs> because when I first put them there, I was so gentle with them. I were like fragile. Now you can bounce them around and you can throw them here. And it's throw like them a ball. There. You can shove it over here. It's quite <laughs> enjoyable. And you can always keep messing with it, you know? A burger, you kind of leave it there. A sausage, you leave it there. All right. Meat, you got to roll it around. And, and there's like 40 of them, you know? Mm -hmm. Sausage, you might have six or eight on there. 
Meech is very fun to cook. <laughs> also noticed when Meech hit the heat, they get way smaller. Really? They get smaller. So we had Meech, now we have mini Meech because they're getting quite small. <laughs> So I thought it was it's expanded. Oh, no, we didn't make one this big. Look how small this is. But how about? Look how small it is. Yeah. We didn't make one that You're small. You're right. <laughs> but I had to migrate them around and shove them and. All oh, right. Meech. I'm telling you, I'm gonna bring Meech to my friends. Next time they have barbecue, Meech is better than sausages because sausages oh. you need a bun and need all this stuff. Meech is just what you want. It's just meat, mustard, pickles. That's all what you want. Bread. You don't want bread. No bread. You eat it with okay, bread. Okay, eat You're a little bit of bread. To. But every sausage is a big bun. It's nice thing you know you get six big buns in you. No good. Right. Meech is what you want. <laughs> Meech. I'm telling you, Meech for the win. Mm-hmm. Top shelf Meech, you know? Yes, I think they're Top ready. Four. Smells so ready. good. Look at the bounciness you want. Look at the bounciness. <laughs> so bouncy. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> bing, bing. <laughs> think those are good? I think so. Look at that. And uh, I think right now we have put the meat on the grill for 20 minutes in total. 20? Yeah. I think it's like... too long. But the thing is, if you had the grill closed, it would take five minutes. But I've been, I've been messing with them the whole time. Yeah, but I've it's been, fun. The heat's been going. It's fun. <laughs> I think 20 minutes is I too think long. it's ready. What do you think? I think it's ready. Okay. Let's serve it. Oh, yeah. Mmm. That's good. Oh, my goodness. Yes. 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 <laughs> Oh, they look really good, Steve. Amazing. Yo, this oh. is the Mega Meech. This is the Mega Meech. Oh, yeah. This is actually the right size. This is the proper size. This is the <laughs> biggest one because it was the last one, so we had like one and a half left. We made this. Yeah. So we made them too small, to be honest. <laughs> we didn't realize. See, the things I'm familiar with, when they get cold, they shrink. <laughs> come on, come on. We gotta eat it hot. Good job. Looks good. Looking good. Yum. Y'all ready for Meech? We are excited. Meech That's is served. Good. Dinner's ready. <laughs> you will be after this. Woo. Steve. Delicious. Look at this. It smells good. And we're going to eat it with mustard and bread. Let's it eat. delicious. All right. So I told my mom that this is the way to eat Meech. <laughs> we actually went and got some toothpick. No popsicles. Toothpicks. <laughs> popsicles. Popsicles. <laughs> popsicles. I don't think so, honey. This is the way to eat meat. Okay. My mom's gonna go fork and knife, which is high I'll class meat. Fork and knife. Mm -hmm. It smells delicious. Mmm. Very good meat. <laughs> How is it? It's really good. Oh, nice. It's excellent. <laughs> You like it? Very good. Oh, thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Oh, yeah. Literally, <laughs> it's just sausage with no Case, casing. casing on it. Yeah. If you notice, it, the meat is bouncy. Yes. Because it's got baking soda, so it's quite, um, texture-wise, it's quite nice. Mm-hmm. It's very good. For me, this is just, just like uh, Romania. I am self-toothpicking my own meat. <laughs> which is usually served like this, but anyway. Whipped. With the beer. Cold and beer. I'm, and I'm right back in one <laughs> Nice. All right. There you have it. So, thumbs up, Mom? Skim milk for me. <laughs> but it tastes so... It, it's milk and milk. It's, it's very good. Oh, yeah. But so we my dad all says, know Ivana is a fabulous cook. Oh, thanks. My dad says you can make them longer and put them in a bun, but I feel like this ah. is against the meat protocol. <laughs> At that point, Ooh, it's just a sausage. It's got some zip. Like it's got some zip. It's got some pepper in there. And some, is there chili? Lots sauce? of, yeah, lots of spices. Yeah, it's got some yeah. It's yeah. very good. <laughs> okay. Job, guys. Wow. Job, Thanks. I'm so happy you this turns out enjoy. well. Okay. Let's eat, man. Thanks for watching our video, everybody. Shout out to Romania. We'll be back in three months. Cheers. Cheers to the Mich. Mich Ding. 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 <laughs> Ding. Oh. My mom feels left out. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you have the beach, mom? <laughs> mm, oh my gosh. Quite juicy. <laughs> See you guys. See you. <laughs> Very good. Okay, addition to the vlog. My mom wanted to say this. I have to mention that it is delicious. And I think that this is five stars and a oh, bonus. Oh, oh, wow. oh, kudos to the cook. Wow. It's very good. And now I will be making this here for our family. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Delicious. So a lot of
all of the food we eat is a bit too extravagant, or this is very familiar and very good. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. It's a new twist on an old favorite. Yes. Bonus star from my mom. She mentioned yeah. it, we said we should film that, mom. Yeah. <laughs> Request to make it every day from... Request to make it every day from my dad. There you go, guys. Great.